The Carolina Panthers have just selected Bryce Young as their number one overall pick to head the Frank Reich regime. Nick, what is your gut reaction? I think this is a pick made by the general manager in the ownership group more than Frank Reich. And I think Frank Reich, having gone through the purgatory that was Indianapolis with the quarterback situation, said, you know what? I've worked with taller quarterbacks, but this is going to be a much better situation regardless. Uh, and what a great situation Bryce Young comes into for the first overall pick. Now, I know this is more of a Falcon-centric scheme today, but you've heard me talk about how much I really like the overall build of this Panthers team. I mean, they absolutely, they're the team that physically beat the Broncos the most last season when they played them, like just bludgeoned them. I guess that Rams Christmas game too. And then also they went into Detroit who had a really good uh, offensive line last year and uh, not a great defense, but they went in and bludgeoned them too. So now you got Bryce Young coming in uh, a team that has really good young makeup on that offensive line. Uh, I like a lot of their defensive pieces as well. I'm curious to see what the weaponry is around him. Obviously they lost DJ Moore and that trade up to get number one, but I think this is probably the best chance for your rookie of the year um, at this spot for any of the quarterbacks and probably the quarterback that has the best chance to go to the playoffs uh, this season out of the rookies. I don't even know what the rest of the landing spots are, but probably this is the guy. Yeah, the Panthers pick again at 39 and 93. So it doesn't look like if they're going to get a wide receiver early that they want to try and pair up that they, they might have to do it in the second round at the 39 spot. They don't have multiple picks, and that's not surprising. And they had to give up a lot to move up to that spot. There has been some talk about the Panthers trying to trade back into the first round, um, potentially for a playmaker of some sort. I don't know if it's a guarantee that it is a wide receiver. Obviously, tight ends and running backs interesting in this class. Uh, but I uh, just figured that would be worth throwing out as well. That's uh, well, some of the rumors. You know, we've talked about this for a while, and I've always leaned towards Bryce Young as my my QB1 in this mm -hmm. in this class. And, and after watching C.J. Stroud, I said, I think C.J. Stroud has an, a legit argument. I just think, and you're worried about his sight, his, his height, and, and they're showing a graphic right now of, you know, 5, 10, and 8th and is the same height as Kyler Murray, uh, Russell Wilson, basically. They're all within pretty of shouting distance of one another. Um, and, and Kyler Murray and Russell Wilson have both had a lot of success early on in their careers. Bryce Young, to me, he's just so – you talk about the it factor. You don't – you can't measure it. But by God, you know it when you see it. And it's like, well, how, how good could he possibly be? You know, he's playing in Alabama and they've got all these superstars. Yeah, but it's still what he can do under pressure. You know, he's facing a bunch of NFL guys when he's going up against LSU, when he's going up against Georgia, when he sees Tennessee and, and he sees, you know, Auburn every once in a while has some pretty good players. When he's going up against the Gators, they've got good defensive players out there and he's under pressure a lot. <clears throat> And what he does off script is special. He, mm -hmm. He's he's just a point guard playing quarterback, but he can still step back and make all the throws. I'm a big fan of Bryce Young, and I think they made the right pick.